The roots of the six millimeter arc come from the need to have a lighter weight, more efficient system than an AR-10. Especially in the military world, we've seen a, a transition of applicability from kind of 5.56 five, natured uh, systems over to 308, and that's mostly to increase the range capability. I mean, a, a 556 has kind of fallen off the map if, if you want to look at ballistic performance beyond a couple hundred yards. Can you hit the target? Yes. Is it going to have much positive effect? Likely not. So you see a transition over to the AR-10 platform to try to make up for that ballistic deficiency of the 556. The problem in doing so is now you have a larger system, it's heavier, your capacity is reduced, it's less shootable, it just comes with a bunch of trade-offs. So what we did with the six millimeter arc was say, what can we do within the AR-15 platform to maintain that size and, and weight you know, advantage that it has, but give it performance that rivals or exceeds that that's found in the AR-10. And that's essentially the start of where the six millimeter arc came from. The requirements uh, originally brought to us was we need better lethality without compromising weight. So we want to get performance, but we can't just make stuff bigger and heavier and all those all those things that you generally do with, with more horsepower, if you will, from your system. That starts with, number one to us, started with the bullet. Uh, we had to develop some efficient projectiles to get the performance and accuracy and terminal and trajectory, everything that they needed, and that's how we landed at six millimeter. So when you're looking at external ballistic performance, there's kind of two main areas of concentration. One is velocity and one is projectile drag, or let's call it BC. Well, those things generally work against each other. So in general, as you get to heavier and, and sleeker shaped bullets, the BC is going to be higher or, or your drag is going to be better. But as you do that, you're going to trade off velocity. And so what you see with the six millimeter arc is it's able to use the heaviest for caliber bullets that are available in the 100 plus grain weight class. So you're getting the best aerodynamics you possibly can, but it maintains enough velocity that those two work in tandem to give you kind of a, a balanced performance. Instead of having an extremely high BC bullet that's so heavy that it's going so slow that it offsets it, or vice versa, a really lightweight, low BC bullet that's going extremely fast but doesn't have the drag to maintain it. You kind of don't have to deal in those two extremes. It kind of has a correct blend of both. We just shot the six millimeter arc, 103 grain precision hunter ammo into 10% ballistics gelatin. Now we shot this through an 18 inch AR rifle at a muzzle velocity of about 2650 feet per second. Let's have a look at this wound cavity. First off, you can see it started to expand less than one inch within its penetration. So a very short neck and it started that expansion. Now its max cavitation is over four inches, about four and a quarter, and it achieved that max cavitation within five inches of penetration. And it came to rest all the way out at about 17 inches deep. Really good performance. So for deer, antelope, the medium sized game on down, uh, 103 grain ELDX from the six millimeter arc, really a great option. So with the Department of Defense adopting the six millimeter arc, I think what you're gonna see is that bridge that's attempted to be made between the 5.56 and the 308 in the AR-10 platform has finally been achieved. So from a use case standpoint, you're probably going to see uh, what was traditionally more of a 5.56 use case or what was traditionally more of an AR-10 use case. I think you're going to see the 6mm arc being able to play in both of those fields well. Thanks to its modular nature, the AR-15 is a very versatile platform, giving shooters just a ton of options in deciding what cartridge they want their rifle chambered in. But very few of these options match the shootability, the performance, and the ballistic efficiency of Hornady's six millimeter ARC. And the DOD seems to agree as they have already adopted the cartridge for limited use by warfighters. And of course, competitors are finding it to work really well through a bolt gun as well. We're here in Grand Island, Nebraska to talk to company engineers about what makes this new cartridge so effective. So over the last several decades, Hornady has introduced or helped introduce many new cartridges. You know, in the, in the last 20 years, you could name off a bunch, the 17 HMR, the 17 Mach 2, 204 Ruger, et cetera, et cetera. And in 2007, when we introduced the 6.5 Creedmoor, that was really the turning of the page where we started to push the boundary of what was 
normal. And we started to do that with getting a long, heavy bullet and stick it out of the case where it belongs. The six millimeter arc, it's been said it does a lot of things well. So it, it really works well on the commercial side, but then it's also working very, very well on the military law enforcement side. It's a very versatile little cartridge. So here we have the recovered 103 grain ELDX fired from the six millimeter arc. Now it went about 17 inches total depth of penetration. We cleaned the gel out here and we got about a half of an inch of expanded diameter. Now on the scale, we are 72.3 grains. Now it started at 103 grains, so that is a 70% weight retention from the 103 ELDX. We had a platform that we had to make something fit, the AR-15 size platform. And we pushed the envelope as far as we could to bring out the last bit of performance out of the AR-15 platform. So that case and that bullet really optimized to work in that system, but it also finds itself really at home in a bolt action rifle. And in today's precision rifle type competitions, a lot of the winners are shooting six millimeters running 105 to 110 grain bullet right around 2,800 feet per second. And what that does is it maximizes external ballistics. You get that really long, sleek, low drag bullet. You get it out of the muzzle, it's gonna buck the wind. You're gonna have flat trajectory and it really minimizes your recoil. So for the precision rifle sport, uh, the six millimeter arc really lends itself nicely. So innovation is really important to us at Hornady. If you look at the products that we've come out with over the past decade plus, they're all innovative in nature. They all gave the consumer something that they didn't have before. And in times like this, where production is taxed and, and we wanna get everybody's needs met, it's still important to innovate and look at what's next, even though that is a balancing act with the current production.